So I had an absolute honour and pleasure this year uh, helping to launch and open the carnival down at the mound at Princess Street. And I joined the procession most of the way along the first leg of Princess Street. And I mean, to be part of that, walking along one of the city's most iconic streets, just amazing. And to be followed behind me with artists and performers from across the world, dressed in every colour you could ever imagine, and, and glittered and everything everywhere. It, it, it just made the city vibrant and lively for that morning to remind us that the carnival's here, the festivals are here. And I think it, it showed the, the city and the world the, the, the fantastic work the carnival can, can be. The whole thing was joyful. I think uh, we so we everybody, particularly me, I think definitely wanted that and needed that injection of joy into the city life. We've been kind of losing it and missing it for the last couple of years when we haven't had these kind of um, events happening in the city. It was great to be in and be able to participate because we could see all the faces of the people looking at the carnival parade and being so happy to see different cultures, colors, dances, the typical costumes. It felt amazing. It's the first time Latin America is in the carnival in Edinburgh. We participate in uh, five countries. And so it was amazing. Venezuela, Colombia, Mexico, Peruvia, and Bolivia participate to the carnival. So my role in the carnival has been to get the Latin American community together. We had people coming from Glasgow, we had people from Birmingham, from Aberdeen, and we made sure that they had a safe place where to stay on that day. We got the help from businesses, Latin American businesses here in Edinburgh. I couldn't do this by myself. We had an amazing team that helped within the community. I think it's important to represent um, the cultural minorities that may not have had a voice. Um, I think for all the different cultures to come out for one very powerful event is a very, not only is it really great for everyone to see and experience as they come to Edinburgh and, and, and explore the different um, experiences here, but I think it's really good for the people who are performing themselves. I think it gives them a, a, a voice, a, a sense of power, and, um, and I think the fact that they get to do what they love to do in a place that hasn't seen that side of them, I think is a, it's, it's really beneficial to everyone. Carnival's kind of a long story for us because we were involved in the original Edinburgh Cavalcade and then Carnival came along and the difference with Carnival is that it's bringing acts from around the world. Uh, difference with Carnival now, especially the last couple of years, it's tried to include more local people. Before it was something that was just, it seemed to be just for the tourists, but now with the, the community um, program before that, we're getting local people involved, which is fantastic. I've done three carnivals now, and it's great to be there every time because it's different every time. And every year you see more new people playing and, you know, it's great to see. Uh, I think it's important because it brings people together and it shows people different types of music and, you know, different cultures. It feels really fun because you get to be with loads of people that do loads of other different things and get to see how they're doing their stuff while you're, while you're drumming along with them.
for me, Carnival's got two aspects. One is being part, part of it and being part of the band. I love doing that. But the bigger thing for me is seeing young people that we've worked with getting involved over years and years. Things that they didn't think they were, could be part of because it was in the center of Edinburgh, it was a big event. They're now, I kind of see them as being part of the core of what Carnival is. Um, so that, as a worker, that's a fantastic feeling. I think it's hugely important for the city to see the carnival kick off in the centre of the town and um, to see I think everybody all together at once in the heart of the city walking along one of the most iconic streets in the city and showing their talents and performances and showing people from across the world that we're here, we're a huge part of what the city's got to offer. Over the last few years they've built up, the festival has built up um, quite a head of steam, a lot of legacy, a lot of community roots now um, that are there to be built on. Um, so I would think just generally that continuation and development of those international links, so bringing people from overseas to Edinburgh, so that mix happens and that, um, that energy and that exchange of cultures and attitudes, etc., happens. I think that's massively important. <laughs> I have been working uh, with um, spreading the dance all around different communities and uh, now I'm working with the um, community with, with children and adults with uh, disabilities. Yes, hi, I'm Susie and uh, this is my son Stuart and uh, we've been going to uh, Latin dancing with Albie and we absolutely loved the dancing, didn't we Stuart? Yes, ma'am. It was good fun. Thanks. It always made you smile. Yeah, I feel very happy and I love her happy. Oh. I love all people that are happy, just like me, and I enjoyed it. It was an amazing experience to see their smiles and taking part, feeling very proud of being themselves and, uh, and doing what they like to do, dancing, and show that they, they are totally uh, able to enjoy this 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 event and it was amazing It was really like emotional, especially towards the end because we had been working on this for like kind of over a month. And sometimes when you're working on something, you don't really take a step back and look at the bigger picture and what you've done so far. So it was really like encouraging, but it was, it was also really emotional. I had never gone to the festival prior to this year, so I kind of went deep in, not only going to see it from the outside, but also participating in it was really amazing. Meeting so many people from different parts of the world was like so good. Apart from bringing a true joy, to all participants and audiences. Uh, I think there is another really important role for the Edinburgh Carnival to play in our city, and that is bringing the international artists to our city and to enable them to engage with our communities and to have a great time together and share that celebration of togetherness. I think it's very important to just 
remain diverse and allow each other to see a little bit of what goes on into our own lives. I guess. It brings international energy, international culture to the city and allows people, residents here, to experience that, uh, which brings joy and new perspectives. But I think also it helps amplify the voices of people from other cultures that are resident here and makes that diversity um, feel as if it's got a home and a place and a platform. I think the carnival is incredibly important because it offers an opportunity for people to take part in new and rewarding experiences and it celebrates so many different cultures and it offers an opportunity for a lot of the young people and families that we support to be represented in a way that they, they maybe not, aren't not necessarily always and it's a celebration of diverse cultures and the coming together of people which is fantastic. We've had the young people from our youth services take part in creative workshops with international artists from around the world. We've had yoga sessions with our elderly, which they absolutely loved. Um, and alongside that, we've been, we were fortunate enough to take part in the Edinburgh Festival Carnival and through the support of the carnival, host our very own one here in the local area. It's really great to be able to have the elderly people take part in that and they were going there along in their scooters and just absolutely loving it and now we're a few months on and it's kind of all they're talking about. The, the powerfulness of the carnival and the power of the festivals across the city, the, the millions of tourists that come to Edinburgh every year and take part in that, of course spend their money here. Um, we want to continue to grow that responsibly and I think that's an important factor to grow the festivals responsibly and for me that includes the fantastic work that the, 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 the carnival does. I think I'd like to see just even more people come to see the carnival just because I think it's everyone something everyone needs to see at least once. I would like to the carnival keep growing, <laughs> keep growing, have more more groups taking part, more cultures, see more, more countries, more um, more more, even more diversity. Motivating and giving that spark to people will bring better things. So 2023, I think, is going to be a great, great year for motivation and for artists to come forward. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>